Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Ian Chikino, and we're gonna have a map uh, a game today right now on Tall Dream Altar between Richmond, our blue Terran player here on the right, and on the left we've got Trimaster, our red Terran player on the left. Now uh, I actually uh, seen Trimaster in person. We uh, were actually at a LAN here in Austin. Uh, he actually ended up winning that tournament. It was a really, really long tournament. Uh, it ended up going to like four o'clock in the morning or something. It's pretty insane, but uh, he's a pretty good Terran player. Both of these players are very good Terran players. So hopefully I have a a very good Terran Mirror match here. I think both of them were over 4,000 uh, whenever the uh, patch hit and uh, the ladders got reset, so got some high-level TVT going on. So like I said, we were on Tall Dream Altar and uh, kind of have uh, not cross-map spawning positions because that would be up here at the top left for him, but uh, I guess you could say relatively close spawning positions. Now in these spawning positions, I think they actually do favor uh, Trimaster because when Trimaster pushes, he will uh, incidentally just run straight into uh, Richmond's natural expansion here. So he can just run up here, put some siege tanks and start wailing on this expansion if he decides to go for some type of uh, push like that. So uh, nothing too crazy here, but I do think these spawning positions uh, do favor him just so slightly. So let's look at what pl both players are going for. We have a gas here for Richmond. And what do we got over here for Trimaster? Trimaster going for an orbital a little bit sooner. It looks like Richmond's gonna get up his orbital uh, pretty. No, he's actually uh, hiding a factory over here. So uh, there we got the orbital command. So going for a really early factory and going for a little bit later orbital while Trimaster is going for a very quick uh, command center here. So he's gonna go no gas command center opening. So, uh, actually, I've got to turn the sound down. The sound is really loud. Alright, much better. Much better. I can actually hear myself talk. So, anyway, like I said, Trimaster going down with an expansion here pretty early. And uh, we'll probably see him throw up two more barracks here pretty soon because that's the standard play here. And he's setting up an SCV. And there we got it. Another barracks being placed. And uh, doing a little Marine Scout instead of SCV Scout. Uh, for Richmond, getting supply block there just for a little bit, just about ready to finish that. There it goes, this finish is just in time. Second gas going up, gonna get a tech lab on there. Um, probably, since we don't see a starport, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a Blue Flame Hellion Rush here from Richmond. Blue Flame Hellion Rush is pretty much all the rage in Terran, uh, Terran Mirror match. At least that's what I've been seeing on the ladder lately. So we're gonna have some Blue Flame Hellions more than likely coming out of uh, Richmond here. Uh, then there we have it, Blue Flame, Pregnator being researched, Hellions coming out, SCV still being produced. And uh, what do we got here for Trimaster? Trimaster doing a really good job putting up his Marines here at the front of his base just to disallow any scouting because Richmond hasn't yet found his opponent's base yet. And uh, it's going to be surprised to see there's an expansion over there. So Pregnator almost done. Now, uh, right before I was going to cast this patch, Bnet was down because version 1.3.1 was coming out and there's no balance changes it's all just basically bug fixes they fixed the bug that i talked about in a previous game where uh this these fancy uh like user interfaces this stuff up here wasn't working in custom maps uh so that they fixed that patch or they fixed it in this current patch so that'll be nice that uh this works consistently throughout all the maps so that's cool too and also they fixed some achievement bug which i don't care about uh <laughs> And what else did they fix? Something about ladder not updating properly. Anyways, all that stuff is good and fixed now. So that's good to know. But anyway, it uh, looks like Richmond is finally going to find this expansion. Trimaster does a really good economic lead right here at this point. He's got two orbitals up, 25 harvesters, 22. And it uh, looks like he's even got some missile turrets up. So he's got pretty good missile, actually, uh, actually early missile turret timing. I think it's a little bit early, but uh, better be safe than sorry anyway. So both players, you can check the three count up here, 38 to 35, pretty close, and it looks like it's about time to have a Hellion drop. we got four Hellions out, Blue Flame, and it looks like Richmond's going to go do some damage. We have a Starport going down also, more than likely, ooh, second Starport. Uh, he may be transitioning into a mostly air build after this. He does have a engineering base, so he can't go over a missile turret if he has to. Command Center going down also. And, uh, okay, wow. Um... Trimaster going with mostly bio, we can see here he's up to uh, three barracks. He's got stem and concussive shells on the way. Uh, Marauder, really good placement for this Marauder actually to catch any Hellions. And uh, Richmond sees that Marauder. Trimaster is aware of this. And let's see how much damage he can do with these Hellions. It looks like he's going to have to fall back. There, the Marauders uh, are in a really good position here. He's got a, a bunker here in the back. So we'll see how much damage uh, he can actually accomplish. He's good kicking off two Marines. He's going to pick him back up. 
and uh, fly back down here. So, oh, Trimash is doing a pretty good job of just defending this. He hasn't lost any uh, SCVs yet, which is nice. Uh, he's only lost two Marines, which definitely is going to be good. He's going to land here. No, he's just going to pick up an SCV and pick it back up. Those poor Marauders can't shoot up. Too bad, too bad. So uh, he's just kind of flying around, just picking off the Marines here at this point. And oh no, he needs to be careful there that uh, those SC or those Marines do a lot of damage to that medevac. He's going to do a landing. Nope, he's just going to pick him back up. Going to go over here to the left, do a little bit of a... Uh, nope, looks like he's going to hang out over there. Anyways, uh, back here in Richmond Space, what he's got going on? Looks like we have Cloak being researched. Banshee's coming out. Double Banshee's coming out. Reactor on the factory, so he may be just pumping out a lot of Marine, uh, Hellions at this point, just because he does have that blue flame upgrade. And it looks like he's going to move up here to the expansion, get some double gas, and pressure up a little bit. Uh, at this point, Trimaster is kind of forced to play a little bit defensive. He doesn't really have a big enough army to actually go on a counterattack, uh, while at the same time defending his base from Blue Flame Hellions. So he's kind of just leaving these Marauders spread out here. Really good spread with these Marauders too up here. Bunker with some Marines in it, some here in the middle. A uh, really good spot, and looks like he did another drop. Got a kill there. And uh, he's going to have to pick up and get some more Marine kills, and... Nope, that one gets left behind. Too bad, buddy. And it looks like we have a Banshee in the back here. Uh, missile turret's not completely uh, surrounding this, but good enough. It's only going to stop two mining patches from uh, being harassed here for a little bit. And looks like he's going to fall back. He does have cloak, but more than likely, we do have a scan coming up from Trimaster pretty soon. It's actually pretty nice at this point if you actually have some Hellions to back up this uh, Banshee. Because more than likely, yeah, there we got the scan. He's going to get it. No, too fast. But uh, just what I was saying there, it'd be pretty sweet if he, you know, brought those Hellions over at the same time those Marines come up because uh, good players won't bring their Marauders as well as their Marines to deal with the Banshee. So um, you're just kind of playing on, on a lower skill level. The player would probably have his entire army hotkeyed and he'd bring Marauders and Marines and that probably wouldn't work too well. But in a higher level game where players, uh, you don't only bring over the half two Hellions, uh, bringing these Hellions over may actually be pretty useful. It looks like he had a drop up here, did some damage. Actually, no, he's got quite a few workers left over, and uh, these banshees are doing some damage over here on the right. Looks like marines are coming up, he needs to be careful. Oh, picks off one there, really good job, and he's going to lose a couple marines, and he's going to go back to harassing. Uh, he's got enough for a scan, he's got supply block there, actually. He's going to build another supply deep, this is going to try going to be supply block here for a little bit. And uh, just trying to stand out of range, just doing a lot of harassing, denying that gas there. Viking is out, so these banshees are going to be forced to go back home. So let's check out the uh, workers lost tab. Where is that control R? And it looks like we got 12 kills for Richmond and only six. Oh, actually workers killed seven kills. Sorry, it's reading the units killed seven kills for Richmond. Um, that's actually kind of a low number considering he went cloak banshees and hellions, but um, he did do a little bit of damage. So let's check the harvester count, 38 to 39. So wow, even he had this expansion open so much sooner. Uh, Richmond is actually now in the lead there. And that supply block from uh, Trimaster actually didn't help too much. So Trimaster going on the attack now. He's got a pretty big bio force. And Richmond basically has uh, some Hellions and some air. He's setting up to take a really quick third here. He thinks these Banshees going to take up these rocks. And I don't think Trimaster is going to have enough AA to deal with all these Banshees. He has about, what is that, like eight Marines? Yeah, eight Marines. And he's got four Banshees alone. So uh, Hellions up front taking that. He's going to pull those back. He's going to try and kill those and get those Banshees. And those... Nope, scan not in place, but it looks like those means are going to get taken out. He's going to try and do as much damage as possible. I don't think there's going to be enough here from Trimaster to deal enough damage. Preparing going down on the command center. Banshee's just ripping everything up. And that fight, uh, that attack was easily deflected, deflected by Richmond. Completely crushed. And Trimaster maybe getting a little too aggressive there. Maybe he wasn't expecting so many Banshees at that point. But I think his attack would have been a little bit stronger if he would have waited for a couple more. Uh, a couple more of Vikings maybe to come out at that point. He does have his... Reactor up on his starboard, and he's building some more buildings up here. What does he got? He's got a command center, two more barracks going really heavy in the bio. Scan going down from Richmond. He's going to see all what's going on here. Tanks just not getting siege. About a third of the way finished, and a third base is up for Richmond. So uh, he's doing a basically Hellion and Banshee build so far, and that's going to allow him to control the map for a while with these Banshees. It takes so much, uh, so many Marines, so much of a bio force to. Uh, control such a high number of banshees at this point so he's easily going to be able to take this command center it's something uh similar to dt's how if you go really quick dt's it gives you map control against terran for a while and allows you to get an expansion of pretty easily two vikings coming out we're going to run head to head here two vikings versus oh man he's going to get picked off there and shot and killed so <laughs> two vikings fighting back two vikings and what is that eight banshees so who would have thought but anyways 
Uh, he's probably going to take gas here on these uh, on this third base here pretty soon. There they go, double gas. You can see his gas was really low there, so that's coming up, putting up some missile turrets even. And ooh, we got battle cruisers coming out, so we're going to have some battle cruisers, banshees, and Richmond really going for a really heavy air uh, force here with some Hellion backup. So Hellion air combination or Hellion starport combination is a really interesting combination because you've got your Hellions that just deal so much damage to the Marines if they decide to go mass Marines. And you're gonna have a lot of Viking production and battle cruisers deal with Vikings if they so choose to go with. Now, Trimaster has basically shown that he's gonna stick mostly with bio this game. So uh, this Hellion uh, air army is gonna be a fierce a force to be reckoned with here at this point. So Trimaster doing a really good job of controlling the Zelnaga towers. You can see here he's got pretty good vision there and uh, suiciding in the Hellion just to see what type of army composition he's up against. So Trimaster now with. Uh, plus one upgrades for his marines, working on plus two, mech getting plus one, some marines, marauders coming out, some uh, missile turrets being placed. The third is just now landed for Trimaster, so he's going to be able to set that up and going. Another scout hellion here for Richmond, going to scout out this expansion. You're going to see, okay, expansion is up. I'm very far ahead of my opponent in economy at this point. We can check the harvester count 58 versus 52. So three, uh, also three. Um, actually, that's not a orbital. He made it to a planetary fortress. I thought that was going to be an orbital. But looks like we have another attack coming on here for Trimaster. We're going to go in and try and do some damage, but uh, that is a huge army. Those are battle cruisers. Uh, <laughs> and quickly turns around. That's hilarious. You guys are walking pretty confident. He scans. He's like, oh, battle cruisers. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my base now. And uh, after that uh, attack, looks like Richmond is going to go on the offensive here with this. Uh, battle cruiser, huge banshee force, um, and he's going to chase down these uh, units. He may be able to pick them off there. Those Hellions are can get up there and roast a couple of Marines. I don't know. It's going to be pretty close. There's a lot of banshees with the cloak, and uh, Vikings up there in the front. He does have a higher Viking count. Those battle cruisers and banshees going to need to cloak. There they go. Quick scan going now. Nice focus fire. Those Marines are falling so fast. Those battle cruisers in the back are staying alive though. Vikings in the back here focusing down, killing some medevacs. And he's going to keep the Battle Cruiser alive. Yes, he is. Only Marauders left alive. They can't shoot up, unfortunately. They're going to be forced to fall back. Marines reinforcing. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Uh, he may be able to end it right here at this point, but there's a Thor coming out. That's going to be a huge improvement uh, on his army. It's going to be a really nice AA spread. Landing Vikings to deal some damage. Oh, no, all those banks are getting picked off. Yamato Cannon on the Thor, taking them down. Not completely killing it yet. Only does 300, and the Thor does have 400 damage. He's going to lose the Battle Cruisers. And he's going to try and finish that Thor, but the repair is going to come. He's going to get it. Oh, it looks like the repair. It looks like he's just going to settle for killing some Marauders. Uh, or he's just A-moving, not quite sure. But the repair is going down on that Thor. Marines helpless against the Battle Cruiser. These things are just so good since that speed upgrade. And he's just kind of focusing on killing uh, some units there, getting the rest of those kills off. So Planetary is going. This expansion is getting a little more saturated. No gas yet, though. And we have some Hellens going to come here, do some harassing here on the bottom left. But that Planetary Fortress is there, and uh, Siege Tank as well. So he's going to keep those. Hellions back quickly, those things fall back. More battle cruisers, more Vikings, more Hellions. Interesting unit combination here from Richmond. And uh, haven't seen too many drops from Trimaster this game. He's kind of been forced to uh, cancel the drops just because of the vast number of air units. You really can't just, you know, drop some Marines and Marauders here because the Banshees and Viking, the Vikings and Banshees will just crush it so quickly. So we have a fourth going up for Richmond here on the right side of the map. And we got some Hellions uh, back up here in this uh, medevac. This is the medevac. I thought this medevac was here from earlier. Is that the same one from earlier or not? Not quite sure if that's the same one from earlier. But uh, SCV still up here at the Zelnaga Tower. Nobody controlling the Zelnaga Tower here in the middle. It's kind of just hanging out there all alone. So Trimaster now uh, kind of switching into Thors. Not so much on the siege tanks. It's a smart move. Uh, as considering his opponent is going mostly air, Thors will be a little bit better of a job there. And Trimaster is coming up here to the Cell Naga Tower just to look with his entire army, just to look around. And uh, we got an SCV Scout coming up here. He's probably going to go scout for, mid for some maybe fourth or fifth expansions here, but he's going to get shut down. Trimaster is there. He's got two attack upgrades, one armor upgrades on his infantry, one attack upgrades on his mech. And more battle cruisers coming out, and an armory. So Richmond will probably start getting the attack upgrade and armor upgrade for his air units pretty soon. A lot of Hellions out here. He's got a really good mix. So many Vikings. That is a lot of Vikings. And it looks like this Bile Force may actually scout that expansion. Oh, he's already actually scouted out the expansion in the top right. He's going to try and snipe it. Uh, is he going to be able to catch us? Is Richmond going to be able to save it in time? I don't know. Those Hellions are on the way up there to save it. He may have to lift. There are a lot of Marines, though. He's trying to morph into a planetary and uh, wow he roasted a lot of marines there killed about six or seven there. he's probably gonna have to cancel that and lift it 
And he's, there he goes. He's going to lift it. He's going to have to repair it. That SCV just did get killed. He's going to take it out. Really quick job there taking out that. going to cancel that. Uh, so good job on controlling that fourth base there. He's going to try and keep it as even as possible. So now Trimaster is in the lead, but he's going to sacrifice all these Marauders. Stimming, trying to run through the Gala that is the Battle Cruiser fleet, crushing all those units. So um, this command center is up. So Trimaster now is in the lead with bases at least. But as far as army-wise, we can check this out. 184 versus 135, so Richmond definitely lead in food count. Let's check out the spinning tab. Army-wise, Richmond definitely far ahead. Technology, it looks like uh, Trimaster is ahead, which is kind of odd, considering uh, Richmond has a higher tech tier of units. So I guess he just has a lot more upgrades with uh, bio and whatnot. So economy, pretty pretty even for both players there. So uh, getting a cutoff there, those Hellion's getting cut off there. He did scout that expansion over there on the right. So we can see that. Yep. Has that scouted out. Three one attack upgrades. Uh, three attack upgrades, one armor for those Marines. So those things will be doing a lot of damage to those uh, flying units and whatnot. But uh, we do have that armor upgrade. So Terran armor upgrade coming with level one and uh, infantry upgrade level one from this. So I'm getting a lot of upgrades here for Trimester. It looks like he's going to go out for an attack here. There's a huge, uh, a lot of battle cruisers. <laughs> He can just crush those, uh, is he going to attack? Yes, he's going to attack, so we got an attack. Yamato Cannon going to go down on the back on those doors. There they go, two shots, taking them out. Hellion just roasting all those infantry up front. And uh, this guy's lucky, he's like, oh no, what are we going to do? So yes, we did see two Yamato Cannons do uh, kill a Thor. They do 300 damage, which is total of 600 damage, and those Thors only have 400 life. So we had a lot of battle cruisers. What do you have? Six out there and so many Vikings. Look at those Vikings. It's supreme air control, no problem. And uh, running straight into one missile turret. That's not going to be enough, but he's gonna, it's going to be enough to kill a lot. Two Banshees there. Kind of just aim moving here in the back. Hailing's up front, dealing a lot of damage. Going to kill all of those units off. SCV transfer going on. Yamato Cannon picking off some missile turrets. Those battle cruisers with the speed upgrade are just so infinitely better than they used to be. Uh, I've been, I was using them in some 3v3s earlier, or actually yesterday. And uh, the speed upgrade is just so noticeably different. I mean, some Vikings landing, just kind of throw away these Vikings. Why not? They didn't even have any air units left over. And uh, the Marines are tearing up those Vikings. No problem. Look at those upgrades. Those Vikings are helpless against the powerful upgraded Marines there. Hellion's just kind of killing stuff here. He's actually flying that base away, building another command center. So uh, whenever uh, Trimaster loses one base, he builds two. And these battle cruisers just took out this base down here in the bottom. So Richmond in a commanding position right now. Hellion's still roasting those Marines away a lot. Wow, a lot of Vikings coming out. So Trimaster, noticing Richmond threw away all those Vikings, now going to have huge air control with these Vikings. Uh, now there are a lot of battle cruisers out with the Yamato Cannon. So he will be able to kill a couple Vikings in this trade here if the Vikings uh, decide to fight. Um, he's going to have to get enough Vikings so he can basically just like one or two shot. Battle Cruiser's bringing the Marines first, but uh, he's got them rallied up there. Pretty good job in the kind of focus farm down there. He's going to be able to kill him. Yes, he is. He's, he's going to do a lot of damage. He's trying to get some Yamato cannons off, killing off some uh, Vikings, getting two kills there. He's going to try and focus fire down. You can see he's got the rally units up. So actually, that fight going pretty well for Trimaster, all things considered. Uh, we have more Hellions up here at the top streams from harassing. Uh, he needs to get here in the back and kill all those SCVs. They're kind of messed up. He's trying to clip you in the back. He's up here in the front playing defense. Pretty good job for these guys. These guys are pro. They need to be on a football team or something doing a really good job of them. One battle because they're still left alive. <laughs> just, just killing Marines or whatever that's out there. These things are amazing. Flying battle fortresses are awesome. And uh, one Viking left out. He does have one attack upgrade for the air units. Richmond with one attack upgrade also. And they're trying to fall back. More Vikings bringing into the bringing into the fight, and then one Marine's coming out this fight, this battle cruiser is eventually going to die with 11 kills. So Richmond, let's check how many bases he's up on to, 4 or 5, and this one will be number 6, and at this point, Trimaster is only on, how many mining bases do you have? One mining base, two mining bases, uh, going to fly this one down here to the bottom and retake this base, hasn't had it for very long, so uh, mineral fields are only about halfway uh, removed over here while at the same time Richmond's is completely gone. So we can check the food counts, 172 versus 54. So Richmond has a huge lead harvester wise. He has to be way ahead. Yes, 70 versus 32. And I want to just check the workers killed. 74 workers killed. That is insane versus two. He killed so many workers there with that fight and uh, units killed 280 versus 110. So this number is a little bit skewed because of course Trimaster did go for mostly bio units and there's a lot more units as opposed to the higher uh, tier units from Richmond, those Hellions and Battle Cruisers. So another harass here coming from Hellions. See if he can do some more damage this time. 
Not much to defend up here. He is putting a pretty good location for a supply depot to force those Hellions to get closer to the planetary fortress, but there are just so many dead units. The tree is catching on fire. Shouldn't the heat, <laughs> the heat of all these Hellions killing with SCDs, those guys, these guys are in the minority right now for Trimaster. We can check 25 versus 70, and the worker count, worker kill count is now up to 88 for Richmond. So, Trimaster trying to stay back in this game, getting this base up and mining. This one up here is hidden, so that one should stay undetected for a while unless he goes for some type of you know, just random Hellion scout of the entire map, which actually wouldn't be such a bad idea, but just sitting more Hellions in here, gonna come down near the bottom left, and this thing is an orbital, so there'll be nothing to, nothing to defend <laughs> against these poor, poor SCVs. They're just gonna fight, try and fight it out and die there, but oh man, Hellion is just dealing so much damage at this point. A little bit of an army being sent up here to the top right to try and deal some damage. Stimming may be able to pick off a lot of SCVs here if he can catch these guys. He's paying attention, he just selected him, he's gonna try and take him out there, he's gonna do a lot of damage, he actually Getting back some SCV kills, there is a planetary fortress there, and some more Hellions being brought in to kill the Marines. Vikings being forced to land to take out the Hellions, there they go, taking them out. And it looks like is going to push through to the top right, that is a planetary fortress just now finishing in the nick of time. Oh! <laughs> Bad timing, he's going to try and sneak around the back here, outside the range of the planetary fortress to control the mineral patch. A smart move there from Trimaster doing the same thing down here. So, uh... Still getting around the planetary fortress, going to be able to deal some harassing. It's going to force Richmond to pull up some battle cruisers and just, you know, a move across those guys. So Trimaster is going to have to do something drastic to get back in this game. Uh, maybe just get an obscene number of Vikings and Thors. Maybe the cure here. Uh, Marines aren't too terribly effective in this situation, just because of the Hellions can just kill Marines so fast. So. I don't know, maybe the, the best army composition against this type of uh, army would be like Thor, Viking, and a Ghost for EMP. Uh, because of course these uh, Yamato cans will one-shot a, uh, a Viking or two-shot a Thor, so you probably are going to need EMP uh, against these battle cruisers. And battle cruisers usually stay clumped up pretty well, so an EMP should be able to hit at least three or four of these. So I'm thinking that's probably the perfect combination or one of the better combinations to deal with this uh, force from Richmond, this Hellion. Battle Cruiser Viking, and he's got a lot of Hellions, a lot of Vikings heading down here. And uh, Viking's gonna try and uh, kite some units, but he's gonna get one. Yep, finally gonna get one, but there are a lot of Vikings here. Oh no, he's gonna get completely destroyed here. Just way too many Vikings from Richmond. One attack up Ridge Ram, and uh, also one attack up Ridge still for Trimaster. This base up here at the top still has been undetected, so that may be the saving grace for. For Trimaster here at the end of the game, we're going to find out there's so many upgrades now coming from uh, both players. Level 3 armor upgrade, still pumping up Marines, getting a lot of upgrades, a high sec auto tracking, Corvid Reactor, Seeker Missile, he's just kind of getting everything that's left over. 200 feet versus, or 200 feet versus 93, so I think this may be the last attack here. A lot of Marines coming up to stem, telling you to get up there, tank all that damage and kill that Yamato cannon going down all over the place. <laughs> Yamato, Yamato and cannon, Marauders and whatever. So uh, there come some... So Battle Cruisers from Vikings gonna push up into this position. And this I think will probably be the last attack. There's one Thor out, but Yamato can will deal with him. Uh, not enough repair in the world to deal with that. Deep Yamato Cannon. I love watching Yamato Cannon. It's got the coolest sound. And uh, this Air Force is really wrecking what's left of Trimaster's army. One more Yamato Cannon. Oh Yamato Cannon, another Yamato Cannon, whatever. There we go. Landing the Vikings. This is probably gonna have a GG right after this fight. Uh, he does have one mining base, two mining bases up here, but there's just not an, any type of an army yet. Okay, game's over. So I hope you guys enjoyed that TVT. That was a pretty interesting TVT. I love seeing battle cruisers in TVT. That's pretty much it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see all of you later.